What do you do to keep interest in math and science among your third graders? Well, a lot of what I do is problem solving and problem open-ended problems. So we're not just looking for one right answer, or at least not where it all has to be answered in the same way. That they can use a variety of strategies, and then I can bring them to the strategies that are a little bit more efficient once they're understanding the concepts. So then they have a place to start, and they never feel like, I just don't know the process, I just don't know what to do. They always have an idea of where to start.